Things are changing for deception coming. The devil knows what he's doing. The devil's not going to stop being evil. He's only going to get worse. He's never going to stop lying. And he's got many people willing to be a vessel, a vessel of Satan because they're not born again. They're not saved. They're not Christians. These people that appear or claim to be Christians, religious people, Catholics. I used to be Catholic. There's no comparison. We didn't, we didn't worship Jesus. We made a sign of a cross on our bodies. And by the way, take note, when you walk into a Catholic church, you dip your hand in that wet sponge and you make that sign of the cross. Picture where, how it starts on the forehead and then it goes just below your chin, maybe six inches, and then to your shoulders. That's an upside down cross. Please be aware of that. That's one reason you shouldn't go into that place. It tells you they do not serve the true God Almighty. They still have Jesus hanging on a cross. And they're going to be used in these last days, especially in the tribulation period of time. Many people believe that the Pope is, a, is probably the false prophet that the book of Revelation will be, teeming, will be speaking of. And he'll be teaming up with the Antichrist. They're both going to cause many people, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead that they might buy or sell. If you don't, you will not be able to buy or sell if you don't accept the mark. The mark of the beast is coming. And the deception to go with it is going to be so deceiving but you've got to get saved now before the rapture happens so you're not here to, to fall into that trap of the deception that's coming. It's going to look so tempting. And you're going to be tormented by starvation if you don't accept it. That thing that the Antichrist and false prophet, most likely the Pope, are going to be buddying together behind the scenes. Or right out in front, charming people with their lies. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. One day, every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. So you bow now. Accept Jesus Christ into your life, in your heart, in your mind. Confess your sins to him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. It's Jesus and only Jesus, the Son of God, who is God in the flesh. Oh, yes, he is. He's the only one that can save you from your sins. He came into this world specifically to go to the cross to pay the price for our sins with his precious blood. He's the final lamb, the lamb of God. Many thousands and thousands and thousands of lambs were sacrificed before Jesus came to pay the price for man's sins. But Jesus became the final blood sacrifice, the final lamb of God. And he paid the price for our sins on the cross with his blood. And he suffered so greatly for us. And then he died on that cross to save us from our sins without a fight. He knew what he had to do and he accomplished it. He was buried. And three days later, victory in Jesus. He rose again from the dead. Hallelujah. That's it. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is our victory. Jesus is our Savior. We need Jesus and only Jesus. We are the Christians. We are the brothers and sisters in Christ. We are the church. The born again believers in Jesus. We are the church. We follow the shepherd, the good shepherd, Jesus. He's our Lord, our Savior, the good shepherd. He's the, the one who will lead us and guide us to all truth through the power of the Holy Spirit. He sends to live within us when we call on his name to be saved. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, 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 praise the Lamb. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. My heart sings His praise again. Hallelujah, praise the Lamb. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship in one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. God our Savior, Jesus. God our Healer. God our Deliverer. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. God our Savior. God our Healer. God our Deliverer. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Oh, yes, He is. Do you know Him? He's Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is His name. One more time. His name is like honey on my lips. His word is a lamb. Unto my feet and yours. His spirit's like water to our souls. Oh, Jesus, we love you. We love you. Jesus. Jesus, holy and anointed one, you're our Jesus. Do you know him? Have you called on his name to be saved, set free because of what he did for us on the cross? That's where our victory is. Put no hope and no confidence in man. Only the man, Christ Jesus, who is God in the flesh. He willingly gave up his life for us on the cross. He's our only hope. Titus 2.13 tells us, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of that great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah, soon and very soon, oh yeah, we are going to see our king, soon and very soon, we are going to see our king, oh one more time, soon and very soon, we are going to see our king, hallelujah, hallelujah, hmm. We're going to see our King. <laughs> oh, come quickly. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come. Come, Lord Jesus. Come. Come quickly, Lord.